hit in the face with a puck yeah. in the last game, the first game back. And I think, I don't know if it was uh, Sam or, or Joe who said, if you had the beard, it probably would have helped you. Probably could have helped, but I mean, I didn't get cut anyway, so uh, that was nice. Well, the funniest part of it was I kind of thought maybe Foxy had tipped it, and after that shift, like, he didn't say anything to me. I was like, oh, maybe he didn't. And then it was like two shifts later, we're sitting on the bench. He's like, you know what, I, I actually tipped that one. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I kind of thought you did, but, I mean, it wasn't too bad. It just got me in the cheek, and it's fine. Did he apologize? I don't know if he really apologized, but he said it was him. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. So you, you feel good, like, yeah. Like, no, I mean that whole time it was, uh, yeah, I felt normal. Didn't didn't have any symptoms, and um, so yeah, you're just sitting around waiting to play, watching the games on TV, and um, it just felt felt good to get back and, and be around the guys for sure. Was there any bit of an adjustment in being away from the rest of the game? Uh, I mean, not really. I mean, I felt felt pretty normal. Um, that first period it might have took me a little bit to kind of kind of feel back to normal exactly, but. Uh, but no, I felt I felt fine uh, against Edmonton for sure. Did Adam give you a big hug and say, "Oh, I missed you"? No, <laughs> no. I mean, there's definitely some some jokes going around about that, but uh, but no, um, it was uh, you know it was it was fine, and um, yeah, it was just weird being away from everyone. No, it's definitely uh, but definitely not fun. But the team obviously played well and and got some wins, so that was great to see. Did you have to kick him out of the apartment. Uh yeah, he had uh, he had to move out, yeah, for a couple of days, yeah, yeah. Um, so, obviously tonight is, you know, it's a big night for Coach and, and for uh, Ryan Reeves. You know, when you guys, the rest of you guys are going into a situation like that where it's big for a particular guy, I mean, how, how do you guys feel about that? Do you handle it? Do you do anything special? I mean, do you stay away from him? Do you try and win this one for the Gipper? What, you know, what, what's, uh, what's the rest of the team? Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's it's very special for for them. Um, you know, I know, uh, especially Rebo, he's he's really excited to be back here and and uh, you know see his old teammates and and all the staff and everyone that he knew here. So um, yeah, it's definitely a special night for those guys as as far as what we do. I don't think there's a whole lot. I know they're gonna be they're gonna be fired up and, and definitely want to win this one. And you know, we're definitely gonna try to do everything we can to to get two points for them for sure. Does it make it easier when you're sitting out and the team's winning, or does that make you miss it more? Uh, it makes it easier. I mean, I kind of noticed. I mean, watching games on TV, it's it's stressful. I mean, I've it's uh, it, it's tough watching, but uh, definitely when the team's winning, and it makes you happy, and um, you know that's all that matters. It's weird watching on TV, by the way. Yeah, it's really weird. Yeah. Really weird. Yeah, no doubt. So, all right. Thank you.